on the bus to see you from fighthype.com and I'm here with trainer Dave Caldwell. Dave, we've just seen Amir Khan get a point decision against Sammy Vargas. Talk to me about that. Talk to me about Amir's performance. Give me your analysis on that. Listen, whether you like Amir Khan or you don't, whether you're a fan of him or you're not, whether you're team Brook or you're team Khan, that kid's one of the most exciting fighters we've got. You know, and so enjoy him while he's here because every fight he just he just gives us something as fans. Do you know what I mean? You just don't know what's going to happen. He, he got caught with a good, good shots, got hurt, picked himself up, and the last half of the fight he boxed fantastic. He just he just settled himself down, picked uh, Vargas off, used his boxing ability, didn't get involved too much, and um, it won it won wide. It, it, that do you know what? Those those rounds there are what he needed. That last fight that he had against Lugetko doesn't do anything for him. You know when you've been out for a long time and then you're coming back and you're looking at getting big fights, Pacquiao, Brook, big fights. You need rounds. You need you need gut checks. You need to see if you still want want it now. You know, he's he's been at the top and now he's trying to get back to the top. Sometimes when you've had time out as well, you don't know whether you can put yourself through the mill. Okay. That kid's just showed again that he, he will do it every time he needs to. And that 12 rounds there is going to do a world of good going forward. There was some shaky moments in that fight oh, yeah, as well. This is what I'm saying. This is why it's so exciting because Khan guarantees excitement because he can be winning a fight comfortably and switches off and. Get Gets caught and he's, on, and he's on his backside. This is boxing and this is this is Amir Khan's career. This is why we all watch him. You know, like I said, whether or not you're a fan of his or not, you've got to respect him because he's exciting. People pay the money to watch exciting fights. You know, people tune in to watch exciting fights. We're all here because it's going to, you know, it's, it's Khan. It's bound to be exciting. Which fight would you want next? Then there's obviously the Kelbrook fight. There's a yeah, Pacquiao yeah. fight being touted. I, I understand. Pacquiao has got a world title. For me, he's a. It sounds strange because it's Manny Pacquiao, but at the stage that Pacquiao's at now, he's the weakest link in the world champions. Would you fancy, would you fancy fighting Spence? Would you fancy fighting Crawford? Would you, fancy, you know, Thurman, them sort of guys? Nah, Pacquiao right now is stage career. He knows Pacquiao, he's fought around with him, he knows him. So, so Pacquiao's the one that, that it makes sense for Khan to go for. Um, my, myself personally, I want to see the Kelbrook fight. I want to see that sorted. I want to, I want to see it cleaned up. Um, you know, and, and see who wins. And as a trainer, looking at that fight, then going off. Kel's well, Kel's been off for a while. Kel, but listen, Kel's in the same boat as him. Exactly. Kel yeah. needs a real fight coming back. He's in the same boat as him because you're gonna have to see whether whether Kel's got it in himself. You know, is he motivated? Can it can it come through an hard fight? He won't know. <laughs> so where does Amir fit in the sort of upper echelon of the division? You're looking at Errol Spence, you're looking at Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, them sort of boys. Where just does below, he, just, listen, just, 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 just everybody else is just below them. Okay. They're, they're on a diff they're on a different level right now. So just below him.